public speaking. <laughs> it's not something I'm used to, so you have to bear with me. Yeah, microphone there. He's got one on his phone. Ladies and gentlemen, on this more special day, where we have witnessed the joining together of Melissa and Jordan, a newly married couple, I would, on their behalf, like to start by thanking you for your attendance here today. We all know that this day would come, but where's the time from maternity unit to this day gone? And just when <laughs> we ourselves are getting to grips with some of the finer points of parenting. I remember the first day when we took her from the hospital into our home. I suspect nobody ever has felt truly confident when presented with such an awesome task as looking after a baby on its first day home. But at least we could comf comfort ourselves <laughs> knowing we have made most of our really big mistakes with Tom. <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> Time has ever marched onwards to the seemingly inevitable rituals that all children must endure of nursery, primary and high school, all gone in a flash. Not to mention first days at work, university and a career. And so we reach the present day, another of those landmark days in all of our lives. All of those past tears and tantrums, a distant memory. It's a wonder how she put up with us. <laughs> I feel duty bound to focus for a brief time on my beautiful daughter, who will forever hold a special place <laughs> deep in my heart. Uh, oops, I mean to say my heart. <laughs> oh, Catherine and me. You have grown, and it is right and fitting that this day is taking place. But I'm sure, you know, all the jokes aside, we'll always be there for you, both now and in the future. You have chosen a man who is kind, considerate, and show great love and respect for you. A person worthy to be called a partner. You can expect many highs and lows on your journey, and I will feel you are both determined to overcome them together. We are both proud to call him our son-in-law. A final mention must go to our wonderful grandchildren, both blessed by this union. They are more valuable, but in a strange way, seems similar to Jordan's famous drive before you buy car warranty scheme. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you for allowing us to feel such a part of their lives. We know the love you have for them is strong, and that makes us very happy. We are enjoying developing those skills required of all grandparents. It's a bit like parenting, except you can spoil them a bit more and give them back at the end of the day, unless they have arranged a sleepover. <laughs> the only thing remaining now, my ordeal is almost over, is to ask each and every one of you to join me as we all stand and raise a glass to toast our newlyweds. Ladies and gentlemen, Melissa and Jordan. <laughs> 